Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's reading is for Sun, Moon or Rising Signs, Gemini for the present month. That is May 2020. So we'll do the career reading as well as relationship reading. So Gemini's, let's begin with your career reading. This is your career status in the present, obstacles in your career and guidance for you. Okay. So let's begin with your career status in the present. The Empress in reverse. The Magician in reverse. Okay. Yes, Gemini, luck is not favoring you. Things are not going in your favor as per planned. And you are really feeling low because of this. You plan onto, onto something, maybe you invested in something and it didn't turn out as you expected. This is why you are feeling really low. You have lost this confidence and this um, control, um, like self, um, how do I say? You have lost self-confidence as well as control over this issue. Yes, this is the correct one. And... Um, Yes, this is what is happening. Maybe you, whatever you are trying to do at the present moment, it's just going in opposite direction. And this is why you are left wondering what is wrong with me? What is happening? Luck is not favoring me or am I not worthy of this? This is what is happening with you. Let's see obstacles in your career. Strength. The Hierophant reversed. The Lovers. Okay. See, although you are feeling really low and depressed, but I would see, I could see that you are trying to control things. You are trying to keep yourself um, strong, okay? And you are hoping for things to get better. Maybe you have some partner or somebody really close to you who is helping you in your business or work. But I also see that there is lack of guidance, okay? either you don't have proper guidance maybe this person who is whoever is with you is not providing you the right guidance or it might also be that this person is distracting yourself from uh, distracting you from your goals okay but yes you are trying to hold on to it you are trying to maintain balance in your career and whatever this person desires i don't know if this is your relationship your love interest or somebody from your career but there is somebody who is really close to you, who is really trustworthy and who might be um, telling you that they will help you. But I don't see them helping you in any way or even if they might try to help you, I don't see you getting benefited by this anyway, in any way, okay? So yes, you need guidance, proper guidance and you need to listen to yourself. Do not see, do, do not lose this. Uh, self-confidence and do not feel low about yourself you are worthy okay you are worthy and i can see that you are trying to hold on to the things this is a really good thing you should not just give up and i see you are not giving up though things are not going in your favor and this is a good thing okay let's see guidance for you king of cups reversed Ace of Cups reversed, Nine of Wands. Yes, Gemini, there is some emotional imbalance going on. Some ups and downs, which is obviously clear with the Empress in reverse and the Strength upright. Yes, you are going out of balance emotionally, okay? Guides are telling you to hold on to your emotions and do not invest in any negative thing. It might be negative energy, negative thoughts, anything. Just do not invest in negative things. Just release this burden. Just release this burden. You are feeling responsible or stressed, I could say. You are really trying to hold on to the things strongly though it's giving you a lot of stress and you are tired but you are still holding on to the things which is justified by the strength card okay but guides are telling you to just release this 
release this burden just be calm and do not um there is some emotional turmoil going on within you okay guides are telling you to protect yourself emotionally it might be related to this person which i told you that this person is really close to you but they are not of they are not I, i'm not saying that they are doing it intentionally but what i see is that they their help is not of any use to you okay they might be trying to help you genuinely but it's not it's of no use to you or it might also be that they are intentionally trying to distract you but whatever it is whatever it is you need to protect yourself emotionally do, do not invest see for the persons for the people who are having this person in their life okay i see you getting involved too much with this partnership or this person that it is not going in a positive direction for your career okay you are facing this emotional ups and downs because of this person so guides are telling you to protect yourself because this ace of cups reverse king of cups reverse cups are generally this they depict our emotions both in reverse okay and for others it is that you are feeling low self esteem not worthy of anything still trying to hold on to the things it's not the case your emotions are going in an opposite direction which is hindering your success in your career okay do not think yourself as unworthy of something you you are really a talented person okay you can make things better see this empress card in reverse and the magician in reverse i could see that once you find yourself worthy and confident of doing something once you decide what you need to do uh i guess you have decided but whatever you are doing you just need to be confident in that okay once you find this confidence and you find yourself worthy things will turn out in your favor you can create miracles okay you have this ability within you so just protect yourself emotionally do not go do not think anything negative do not think negative okay this is what guides are telling you do not think negative do not think yourself as unworthy or incapable of doing anything and if this person is just dragging you away from positives just uh, protect yourself from them as well i'd say that release this burden and any negative emotions this will really benefit you in your career okay gemini so this is your career reading for the month of may 2020 hope it resonates with you if not maybe this was not your energy today and you can check for other signs too in your birth chart because this is only for sun moon or rising gemini and we'll meet again with your relationship reading hello gemini i'm back with the relationship reading this is your feelings for your partner your partner's feelings for you this is your relationship in this present month obstacles which will be coming in your way in this month your hopes and desires from your relationship and your partner your partner's hopes and desires from you and this relationship and this is guidance for you okay so gemini let's begin your current feelings for your partner temperance and the world yes gemini you love your partner a lot and you see your future with them okay but and now you are trying to find balance in this relationship okay maybe something happened between you two but you are now ready to let go of the things which are not serving your relationship and take your relationship forward to a new and positive level okay this is what you are feeling let's see your partner's current feelings for you oh my god four of wands king of cups yes your partner too loves you a lot and they are really planning this long term long term commitment with you chaminai they their love is really so deep for you okay this is such a beautiful reading but i just think this temperance card i don't know why i feel there has been something in this relationship i don't know i'm getting those vibes there is there has been something but now everything is completely fine between you two you have found balance you have decided maybe you were indecisive you were indecisive previously and now you are 
really good you have decided what you want to do and you have chosen them okay and even they love you a lot they are planning this they are thinking you as their long term partner okay maybe this wedding and all those things okay okay it might also be that few of you are already um married okay or are engaged it might also be the case and there might have been something which went downhill in your relationship but now everything is sorted let's see what this temperance means i'm i'm getting some different kind of vibes okay let's see your relationship in the present okay mm hmm nine of cups reversed ten of cups page of pentacles okay yes there was definitely something gemini maybe you or your person liked somebody else or were involved with somebody else but now they have chosen you as their long term partner with this 10 of cups they are seeing their future with you and yes there's start of this new love i can see i'm picking up on energies of different people okay I, i'll tell you all the scenarios one by one one scenario is which i told you just now that you people you or your partner is leaving their past behind maybe they had plans of this commitment with somebody else but now they have decided to move on and come to you to get married to you or to plan long term future with you okay this is one scenario you are your partner energies are interchangeable i always say this the other scenario is that maybe you are already married with this person okay maybe you are already married or engaged with this person and you or they were involved somewhere somewhere else along with you okay but now they have decided to just come forward towards you leaving their past behind and mostly i see this is your energy gemini because as i told you with this temperance card you are trying to find balance so it might be you that you were involved with somebody else along with your current partner and now you have decided to put an end to that previous one the past and move along with her with her or him like whoever your partner is might also be involvement of money okay your partner loves you a lot i i can see that and even you see your future with them there might also be involvement of money somewhere maybe you you both are together because of this materialistic thing it might also be the case i see love from their side okay it's like they think you they consider you as their um long term partner there's no doubt on that but yes there might if you two are married it might be that you both provide each other that materialistic pleasure money or any materialistic pleasure and this is most important to you in your relationship and you are happy you are happy it's not that you or your partner are, are not good for each other they are but there is involvement of this materialistic pleasure and desire as well this is why one of you has decided to put an end to whatever was there whatever problem was there in the past because there is definitely some involvement with somebody else okay it might also be see the fourth scenario which i'm getting it is it might also be that now you have maybe you had feelings for somebody else you had hopes and desires and wishes for somebody else but now you have decided that you have to move on with this person only and you have to find love with this person only it might be that you are married it might be that you are going to get married or whatever it is you have you and your person have decided that yes you both are destined to be together this is your fate this is your destiny so let's leave all the things which which are which were there in the past leave all the things and move forward with each other this is what temperance card is suggesting me finding balance with the present scene 
being okay with whatever is happening and this might be a budding um, kind of I'm not getting the word love I don't know why although there is this king of cups and all it's more see what kind of vibes I'm getting are it's more of a planned love I can say arranged love arranged love is a bit I don't know what to say it's like you have decided that you and a person have decided that yes you have to love this person that person has to love you did you get my meaning this is what I see it might be an arranged marriage scene yes it might be for few of you it might be an arranged marriage scenario it might be that Let's see obstacles. Uh -huh. Two of swords. Death. The sun. Yes. There was definitely you or your person loved somebody else. I can say that for sure. Okay. And for those of you who are not involved in third party, I don't think this reading is for you. Okay. Because this energy is clear. Obstacle is that you are stuck. You or your person is still stuck. Still stuck. Rather they are helpless. The thing which I told you that you have decided that this is your, you have accepted this as your fate and you are obligated to love this person. If that makes sense. Like you have to, um, you have been told basically that yes, this is your person. You have to love him or her. But your heart is somewhere else. Your or your person's heart is somewhere else. They are just moving on with you, offering you love because they have to offer you love. With this world card, with this temperance, this is why I was getting this vibes with this temperance card. Yes, you are trying to find balance. You are trying to think that, yes, this is my partner. This is my world. This is my destiny. But your heart is somewhere else because I don't see happiness anywhere. Yes, there is there is positivity. You are, you are trying to be over cheerful and trying to enjoy this uh, this new relationship if it is new yes there is and I would say you are trying to be um, positive it might be that or it might be that I am picking up energies of you and your partner separately one of you who was involved previously with somebody is stuck basically is helpless they don't want to move forward with their partner from the bottom of their heart, but they have to practically. And this is the death, ending of something and beginning of something new. Yes, they're ending something from their past. They have to rather. I would say they are obligated to end something from their past and just move ahead with you. Or you have to move ahead with them. And I could see this two of swords energy is mostly yours because this temperance card and I don't know why I'm drawn to this temperance card again and again. Because yes, you, you are trying, you are obligated to find balance, but you are not happy. And yes, both of you are trying to take it in a very light and positive manner because you both have accepted that yes, this is what is going to be with us. This is what is going to happen. This is our fate. But none of you is happy. Let's see your um, hopes and desires from your partner and your relationship. Eight of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Getting stuck, codependency, all those kind of negative emotions, I would say. Yes, as I told you, Gemini, is this is your energy. You definitely loved somebody else or you just wish to be with somebody else. You know, you're not happy, but you have given up. You have no way out. You want to move forward with, with your this current partner, but you're stuck. It's a battle between your heart and mind, I would say. Practically, you have decided to move forward with them. Maybe you have no choice left. This is why. But your heart says to... I hope you understand. And with this nine of pentacles reversed, you are trying to find peace with yourself. You are trying to... You are hoping that things will get better and you will be happy and joyful as you were before. But I, I see that you are still stuck. You are codependent somewhere.
नाइन ऑफ पेंटिकल्स दिस पेज ऑफ पेंटिकल जस्ट ए सेकेंड इट माइट बी मनी इन्वॉल्वमेंट एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट देर इज मेटीरियलिस्टिक कम्फर्ट योर मे बी यू हैव ट्राई टू मूव ऑन विद योर पार्टनर विच आई से दैट यू हैव थाट प्रैक्टिकली इट माइट बी दैट देर इज इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंस समवेयर एंड यू हैव नो चॉइस लेफ दैन टू मूव ऑन विद योर दिस करेंट पार्टनर ओके यू आर नॉट हैप्पी आई डोंट सी यू हैप्पी यू आर स्ट्रेस्ड See, most likely it's your energy who was involved with somebody else. But if it is your partner's energy, yeah, if it is your partner's energy, and you know about them mostly, you know about your partner's past, because this is why you are really sad about it. You are stuck. You don't know what to do, but you have to move on. This is very unlikely, actually, for very few of you. It might be that the case. you want your partner to be involved with you this is why you're trying to maintain balance you are you are consoling your partner to just leave everything which is no longer serving them and just move forward with you but from inside you are really sad and stuck and you are codependent on your partner your current partner you can't let them go but you are really sad about what has happened you you feel sometimes that okay they they love somebody else and now they have to move on with you but you can't leave them also due to any any obligation or whatever but this is very unlikely it is for very few of you okay let's see your partner's hopes and desires knight of wands seven of swords both are in reverse yes both of you are vibrating on a similar level okay even your partner is holding on to the things not letting go did you tell this to your partner jamenai that you were involved with somebody else you know because i could see i could sense deception here okay it might be that they are deceiving you they were deceiving you rather and they have no passion left they are just they are just okay with whatever is happening there is no um wish i would say there is no passion or desire within them it's just um uh, how would i say it's just i'm not getting the word but they have no passion left they are they have accepted whatever is happening they are just i won't say calm but they are cold yes cold is the correct word they are just cold they have no they are like okay if this happens it's fine if it doesn't happen also it's fine i'm i'm okay with everything what is going on because they again i sense that yes there was some something hidden there was something which is hidden according to them but they just can't leave this connection they are obligated to be here and this is why they are not happy okay either they sense this deception from your side or they feel that they have deceived you or because because you they they had some past and now they have to move forward move on with you though they might have told you about that even then they are feeling this the sense of deception towards you they feel that they are deceiving you they are not really honest with you because somewhere i could see that that um somewhere deep down in their heart there is something for for the past if this is their energy if they had the past because yes they are totally cold about your connection they are like it's not that they don't want to move forward with you they want to but it's like there is no enthusiasm in them about this relationship they are not excited they are just normal and if it is your <coughs> sorry really sorry if it is your energy gemini if you had some past even if your partner doesn't know about it they have some hint some idea about it i can say that maybe you didn't tell them but your behavior or some something has left them doubting on you this is why they they are just holding on to it and they have they are they have no interest left and they are feeling that 
there is some kind of deception going on but yes but still they are they are moving forward with you let's see your guidance card for this month this was expected justice page of swords reversed yes guides tell you to do what is right do not only think from your heart sorry do not only think from your mind but maintain a balance between your heart and mind okay if this is only for the sake of money just think once that will this be able to serve you good in your long run okay because justice card speaks of balance fairness doing what is right so guides are telling you to do what is right just just not only see uh, thinking logically and practically is also important nobody should be emotionally weak but you should be fair you should be i'm not saying that you are not fair what i mean by this is you should think about the far future many of us what happens we think that okay we, we are obligated to do this yes we need to do this and everything will be fine in the future it's okay whatever is happening but this is not always the case you might have known many people they end up regretting their decision later in their lives okay so this is what guides are telling you to think and do what is right for you because see i don't know what your case is what your scenario is you know better what is right for you okay because see if you are not happy if you or your partner is not happy and they are just thinking about it practically i don't know what will happen in the future it might turn out in your favor or might not and yes this page of swords in reverse somebody is really resisting is a uh, guarded and defensive not opening up basically not opening up you know what just talk to your partner openly just talk to your partner openly just discuss things with them if it is they who are having this past or you whatever is there you need to be open to your partner i know i know you are trying to forget whatever has happened and moving along with whatever is happening moving along with moving with the flow but you need to break it you you need to be really honest and do what is right and you know see i'm i'm nobody to um tell you what you should do and what you should not but from these cards what i feel is that you should not sorry to say but only based on these cards you should go with your heart okay whatever your past was because i don't see any one of you coming out of it and it's hurting you both okay but the final decision is up to you whatever you feel is just do what is right with the justice card i would just say that do what is right otherwise you or your partner might end up regretting it later okay so gemini this was your career and relationship reading for the month of may 2020 i hope it resonates with you if not maybe this was not your energy today and you might be having other planets too in your birth chart because this is only for sun moon or rising gemini and um, yes for any detailed guidance readings or sessions on crystals feel free to contact me i'll post link in the description box below and if anything is unclear in this reading feel free to ask in the comment section i'll try my best to explain it to you and um, yes if you like this video do like share and subscribe to my channel take care till we meet again